Hi, I am Raj Vijay Singh. I welcome you all to Mass Tribal. In this video, I am going to discuss further more about functions. In previous videos, I discussed about domain, codomain, and range of a function, and also I discussed how to find the inverse of a function. Here, I am going to discuss about substitution. Before we start, I must say, if you are fond of learning advanced math stuff, please click like and subscribe. And to get to know about my other classes, visit mathscriber.com. So here we go, let's get started. In previous videos, I discussed about domain, codomain and range of a function and also discussed about how to find the inverse of a function. Now here I am going to discuss about substitution and sometimes we call it functions inside functions. Now for the previous videos, I will put a link above, it will be guided to the playlist and now let's consider these two functions fx equals 2x plus 3 and gx equals 4x cube. Now, if you are supposed to find these values, first one f2 then from number 2 g minus 3 from number 3 f 3x minus 2 from number 4 this is very special f gx and we are putting a small dot here and i'll explain this all right on the first question this means you have to substitute 2 for the x in fx function simply this 2 should be substituted in this function x now 2 is here then here we meet our x now x is no more x we'll have to replace this x by this value 2 plus 3 what we get 2 into 2 4 plus 3 which is 7 moving on to the roman number 2 now g that means this function 4x cube now we have to substitute minus 3 to x which belongs to gx function simply in gx function x should be replaced by minus 3 so we write 4 then here we meet our x this x is normal x should be replaced by minus 3 i write it in this color minus 3 to the power 3 so answer will be 4 times minus 3 to the power 3 is minus 27 and you will get uh, minus 108 now moving on to row number 3 now f function x should be replaced by 3x minus 2 so we'll write 2 we'll write 2 then instead of x we replace this 3x minus 2 3x minus 2 plus 3 if you want you can keep it like this otherwise if you really want to simplify it is uh, 6x minus 4 plus 3 we end up having 6x minus 1 now this is really special now you may wonder what is this dot we put a small small circle here that means this gx function should be replaced inside f function we call functions inside functions so gx should be replaced for this x of fx function now fx function start with 2 and we meet our x and this x this x should be replaced by gx so instead of that x we'll write g x plus 3 now what is g x g x is 4x cube 
so we'll write 4x cube here plus 3 so we end up having the answer 8x cube plus 3 now we'll do one bonus example now let's see Roman number 5 we'll do Roman number 5 here Problem number 5 now we found fgx here what about gfx this means fx function has to be replaced for this x in gx function simply fx should be substituted inside gx for x now gx function is 4x cube now instead of this x we have to write this 2x plus 3 which is fx now it is 4 fx to the power 3 what you get is 4 what is fx fx is 2x plus 3 2x plus 3 to the power 3 if you want you can simplify otherwise you can keep the answer like this and now let's look into two practical problems one will be a very simple one other will be a very advanced one so let's look at that all right let's look into our first example fx equals x plus 2 gx equals x squared now we are supposed to find gf minus 3 and fg 1 now how to do this stuff now row number 1 before we find the gf minus 3 we must find gfx which is fx has to be substituted inside gx function now gx function is x square instead of this x we are writing fx basically we replace x by fx and that is being squared which we get fx is x plus 2 and we just write there now it is x plus 2 whole thing square now we do gf minus 3 which suggests this in this function gfx this x should be substituted by minus 3 so instead of x we are writing this minus 3 so it is minus 3 plus 2 square which is minus 1 square and answer is plus 1 now moving into the row number 2 it is fg1 before we find fg1 we must find fgx which means now gx should be substituted inside fx now where x is in fx function should be substituted by gx so fx function is x plus 2 instead of x we are writing gx so it is gx plus 2 which is gx is x square so it is x square plus 2 now we can find f g 1 which is x should be substituted by 1 so x is 1 so it is 1 square plus 2 so answer is 3 now moving on to our second example now I must say to do this question you must have a basic idea about inverse functions and, and if you don't have anything like that you must watch my previous video I will put a link above uh, and if you have a proper idea about inverse functions then you can move on with this question with me so 3 minus 1 now we are supposed to find row number 1 f inverse x then row number 2 g inverse x then row number 3 f g x then row number 4 is a very special part we have to prove f g inverse x is equal to g inverse f inverse x now let's see how we can do this row number one is simple if you know the inverse functions now fx equals 7x plus 1 now instead of fx we'll write y then we'll subject x 
seven x equals y minus one and x equals y minus one over seven. Now instead of x, we'll write f inverse x, and instead of y, we'll write x. So it is f inverse x is x minus one over seven. Now row number two, we are supposed to find g inverse x. So now g x equals x over three minus one. Now instead of g x, we'll write y for our easiness. X over three minus one. We are subjecting x. X over three equals y plus one, and x equals three into y plus one. Now instead of x, we replace g inverse x, and instead of y, we'll write x. So g inverse x is three x plus one. Move to the row number three. F g x. Now. This g x should be substituted inside f x function for x. Now it is a seven into instead of x we'll have to write g x. G x plus one. Now what is g x? G x is x over three minus one plus one. So when you simplify, it is seven x over three minus seven plus one, which is seven x over three minus six. So here we go. This is the answer for f g x. Now the final part and the most crucial part, f g inverse x equals g inverse f inverse x. Now how to prove it? Now to prove that. First of all, now this is what we have to prove. We have to prove f. This is row number four. F g inverse x equals g inverse f inverse x. Now, first of all, if you remember, we found f g already. Now, what is f g? This is what we have to prove. Now, f g is g x is seven x over three minus six. Seven x over three minus six. Now we have to find the inverse of this. Now instead of this f g x, we'll write y and equals seven x over three minus six. Now we are subjecting x. Seven x over three equals y plus six. Then seven x equals three y plus eighteen. Three comes here. Three into y three y three into six eighteen. So x will be three y plus eighteen over seven. Now x will be replaced by the inverse function of f g x, which is f g inverse x equals instead of y we'll write x. So f g inverse x is three x plus eighteen over seven. Now we'll name it as one. Now g inverse f inverse x. How to find it? Now g inverse f inverse x. This means f inverse x has to be sub substituted inside g inverse x. Now we found f inverse x x minus one over seven, and this has to be replaced inside g inverse x x. Now g inverse X is uh, g inverse x is three x plus one, so it is three. Now instead of x, we are uh, we are replacing f inverse x. F inverse x is x minus one over seven. Now we'll write now x plus one means uh, f inverse x plus one. Now three. What is f inverse x? X minus one. Over seven plus one. Now let's simplify and see what we we'll, what we we'll get. Now it is uh, equals three. Taking the common denominator inside the bracket, seven x minus one plus seven, which is three x plus six over seven, which is open in the brackets three x plus eighteen over seven. So this is. G inverse f inverse x. We'll name it two. Now, if you see, 
for f g inverse x also we got 3x plus 18 over 7 g inverse f inverse x also we got 3x plus 18 over 7 so basically we are getting the same answers for f g inverse x as well as g inverse f inverse x which means 1 equals 2 and we have proved f g inverse x is equal to g inverse f inverse x here so this is done and uh, thank you for watching and hope to meet you with another mathematics video till then goodbye